Ben's left hand full bar 45.539. Alexandro Spitulas in the second spot in time number 51, 45.895. Another spin there by Ben and Chin out of turn number 6. Turn number 6 proves to be a very quick return. We've seen already a few drivers in the practice round spinning out of turn number 6. Certainly not an easy turn to maneuver. We're going over now, moving up to 6 spot, 47.251. Four minutes before we end this qualifying session. Drivers running hard and fast on the wet track. Right, as we still holding on to the best lap time, 45.539. Dominic right now, moving up to 4 spot, 46.627. A couple of factors to bring on is the team. A little bit affecting on drivers and it is a little bit that much harder to drive in the wet. There are about 3 minutes and 30 seconds to go high as he is still holding on to the lead. Alexander is in front of a 51 at this point. 3, 5, 6 seconds behind. Oh, he is in a spin out on turn number 1. Not quite make out the driver out there. There are about three minutes to go. I believe it's back on to the drive. Well done. Two minutes and 50 seconds before we end this session. Looks like Ty S is still holding on to the lead. With the best lap time of 45.539. Each of them are moving up to 8 spot 47.243. 2 minutes and 35 seconds to go. Oh, another spin up there by Morris. From the 9 and 1. Again in turn number 6. Once again, a very, very quick turn on the track. Turn number 6. Slightly over two minutes before we end this qualifying session. Two minutes. Of course, following this session will be the senior qualifying session. Five drivers driving the senior session. Oh, that is good up there. By Alex Park on turn number 6 once again. Turn number 6 proving to be the devil's turn. Making everyone victim. 1 minute 25 seconds to go. Ty SC still on top in front of 5. So far nobody has bested him in the left side. Then he dropped earlier on 45.529 all the time to beat. Still holding on to that, that time. One minute to go. Alex Brown are moving up to top spot in time of 575, 45.525. Three minutes right there by Alex Brown. Just under a minute to go and he took the top spot. With his best left time of 45.525. Thirty-five seconds to go before we end this session. And it looks like Alex Brown will take the lead now. Ty Eski now in the second spot, 45.59. Difference of point zero one four seconds there, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be there. It's a sliver of time. And we have a second time on the end of the qualifying session with Alex Brown on top, the best time of 45.458, followed by Ty SC 45.539, Alexandros Petulas 
Alex Brown still on top. He's like Ethan Brown is out on the track. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So once again, out on the track here, we see Alex Brown on top still. Nobody coming in close. Coming in close is Alexander Petulas. Taking back second spot, number 51. Okay, first now moving up to third. Alexander Petula, 
the end of the pre-final race with Alex Brown taking the, the pole the pole position. Following behind him is Ethan Tan in car number 23, Dylan Bond in car number 55, followed by Dominic Quack in car number 81. In fifth, we have Brian Chapman in car number 278. Kai Eski finishing in sixth in car number five. Blue suit and blue car. 
Catching on to Ethan Tan. He comes on with once again on the back screen. I see the six on Ethan Tan with the next slam.
in cot number 23, we have Ethan Tom. And of course, the champion for today, that in cot number 575, Mr. Alex Brown. Presenting the Rookie Awards, we have in that category, Dylan Bondi. Second to receive the Rookie Award, we have Dominic Kuak. And of course, our champion rookie for today is Ethan Tan. So, so Alex, how, how do you you won all the heat, the pre-final and the final? How, how are you feeling right now? How did it go for you? I'm feeling quite happy. Uh, all my all the competitors did quite well, and yeah, and I had quite a good car to compete with. So I'd like to thank Vritas and Sean to helping me have a really good car, and I feel quite energetic because of Yaya Rose's food, and I would like to thank her for making the food. Yeah. That's great, okay. So, uh, for the, uh, did you find it difficult switching from wet to dry? Uh, no, I like both conditions, but I like wet the most because I think it's where it's really tough and it's where, uh, where it's quite hard. So, so for the next round, um, it's obviously going to be uh, maybe a little tough for you to, to match the great results you've had today. What, what are you hoping for in, in round two? I'm thinking I should match the results from today and eventually wrap up the championship quite early so I can focus. M so, um, so yeah, that's it. All right, Alex, thank you very much and congratulations. So, so Ethan, uh, you, you had the great day today. How, how do you feel and how do you feel it went for you overall? Uh, it's good because it's my best finish in SKC. Um, it wasn't really hard switching from wet to dry because I'm quite good in the dry, but not really good in the wet. Um, it was a tough race against Alex Brown. He was really fast. Ho hopefully, I can do better next round and get first. So, so in, in round two, what are you, what are you hoping is going to go be better for you? Is there a couple of things that, that you think could, you could do better? Uh, I think that um, if, it's, if it remains dry, then I might challenge Alex Brown. In the wet, nah, I don't think so. All right, Ethan, thank you very much and congratulations on a great day. Thank you. A great series of drives again as always. Uh, tell me about how you feel it went for you today. I think it was okay. Uh, maybe could have gotten second if I overtook uh, Dylan earlier. But overall, I think it was okay. Uh, going into this race, I didn't have a lot of expectations because uh, my, my practice wasn't uh, as good as I thought it would be. So, yeah. How, how was it switching from, from wet to dry? Was that difficult? Um, not really, but I was quite happy to go back to dry as on the wet near Yokohama, I wasn't used to it yet, so I was uh, struggling to, to get fast lap times on the wets. And uh, what about round two? Tell me what, what you hope is going to go better for you in the second round. Maybe get first, I don't know. Uh, but I think getting third in this round is pretty good. Uh, there's always room to improve. Maybe we can work on the cart uh, and other stuff. Yeah. I would like to thank my, uh, my team boss Paul and my mechanics Ohm and Shree for doing an excellent job this weekend for the race. Yeah. Thanks, a, thanks a lot Dominic, congratulations. You, you uh, finished very strongly, you, you got a place on the podium, how do you feel it went for you today Dylan? 
uh, quite good. I was hoping to get a third place, then just lost the position down at turn three. So yeah, feel happy. And, and, and what about uh, switching from wet to dry? Was that tough? It looked tough from where we were all sitting for everybody. I was a lot happier. Mm, a lot more happy that it's dry. I know I can do it this time. And, and, and what about uh, for ahead of round two? I mean, what are the things you're going to be looking at and hoping to improve going into round two? I'll definitely improve blocking a lot more. And a lot of other things I need to improve. All right, Dylan, thank you very much. Congratulations on a, on a great weekend and uh, looking forward to seeing you in round two. So, Kai, you had, you had uh, maybe a difficult start this morning, but you, you did a great job through the day and you finished really strongly uh, and you made the podium. How, how do you feel it went for you today? I uh, felt good. Uh, I, I thought I went pretty good. It's my first time, so I'm like, wow, I, I'm really happy about it. So... But in the wet, it was very slippery, hard to uh, qualify. And, and what about uh, for the next round? Are, are there a few things you want to work on uh, before round two? Mm, nah. It's, I just need to be a bit more... I just, be, I need, just need to be a bit more aggressive, that I need to just overtake more people every time. Thanks a lot, Kai. Congratulations on a great day. And... Looking forward to see you in the next race. So, so great driving this weekend, and congratulations on on a, on a really strong finish. Tell me about how you feel the weekend went for you. It feels like I'm getting better as I practice every weekend, and as the time I practice, I will get good times, like maybe like Alex Brown or maybe Alex K. And and what about? Uh, it was really tough conditions today, switching from wet to dry. Tell me about that. How did how was how was it making the switch? It was actually annoying to switch, but it was fun at the same day, same time, driving on the wet and on the dry. And, and what about round two? Is is not far away. I mean, what what are the things that uh, you'd like to work on before before round two? I would like to work on blocking and improving my times and getting the grip to getting grip to speed up. Okay, well congratulations on, on a great drive and looking forward to seeing you in round two. So Roman, I know this is your first race and, and great driving and, and great finish for you. Uh, tell me about how you feel uh, after the, the drive today very good because it's my first race and finish seven on my first race is brilliant i didn't think about finishing sevens uh, this morning i woke up i was like no i'm not i'm never gonna finish sevens but yeah i was good yeah okay. and, and tell me i mean it was really really tough conditions today i'm mean, switching from wet in the morning to dry in the afternoon how, how was that was that tough for you yeah it was tough but not too tough because here in Singapore, it always like that. I did a lot of practice in the wet, and switching from wet to dry was not really, really difficult for me. And, and ahead, ahead of the second round, what, what are you hoping to improve on? What are you hoping to work on over the next month? Uh, qualification, if it's in the dry, because today was in the wet, and it was better for me. And uh, maybe blocking people when they would try to overtake, yeah. Right, well, congratulations on a great first race and looking forward to seeing you in round two. Okay, so, so Alex, uh, how do you feel about how it went for you today? Well, today uh, I didn't really like it too much, switching to wet to dry, but the cart was good, except for the straight line speed, and yeah, a bit disappointed. So uh, what do you hope is going to go better for you in the second round? Uh, for the second round, uh, I just want to beat Alex Brown as a target and and do better in all of the races. All right, thanks a lot. There you go. Really Sorry. tough conditions. Tell me, tell me about how it feels to make such a strong, uh, to have such a strong day. 
Uh, it was nice, but <laughs> good, had good stuff and good team. And, and uh, what about, uh, as I said, really tough conditions today, switching from really wet in the morning to dry, to very dry in the afternoon. How Was that difficult? No, it wasn't that hard. Practice, good. Qualifying bad. Wasn't that good. Well, the qualifying tires were not not so good because they didn't have that much grip. Well, well Kaylin, congratulations on, on a great day and looking forward to seeing you in round two. So, so uh, great driving today and, and tell, tell me about how you feel uh, yesterday and today went for you. Um, today it was very wet during the practice and qualifying. I, I skidded a lot. But I'm very happy because um, I, this is my first time doing wet and it's very fun. And yeah, I mean, you, you've talked about how difficult it was switching from wet to dry. Ahead of the second round, I mean, what, are you, what are you hoping to work on before the next event? I'm hoping to work on my, my timing as I'm slowing down every time. So I need to work on, on my speed. Okay. Well, congratulations on a on a great weekend, and look forward to seeing you in the next round. You know, tough conditions today, and and uh, you know, tough race. T tell me how you, how it, it went for you. Um. Well, uh, I span off in the heat, and I couldn't get on the track, so I had to start at the back from the pre-final. But in the pre-final, I did quite good. I came from the back to fifth. But then, unfortunately, in the final, a few laps in, something was wrong with my carburetor. So then I had to come out. So I'm hoping to do better in round two. Yeah, I mean, round two is, is not far away, so you get a chance to go back out and, and sort of wipe the slate, uh, slate clean and start again. Uh, what are the things you're, you're hoping to really focus on before round two? Um, to getting my lines right, not making mistakes, and maybe improve on my timings. All right, well, well done, Ryan, and, and wishing you all the very best for the next round. Thanks.